Hey, how is it going YouTube? Today I'd like to show you how to crop a video using FFMPG and also how to, how to detect a crop. Okay, so I'm going to use FF Play to preview all the, the modification and all the filters that I want to apply. So I did a video before if you want to check how FF, FF Play works. It's a very useful software that can save you a lot of time if you're using FFmpg uh, quite often. Okay, so we need to go to the filter documentation page. You can see here, on the crop. And then let's scroll to video filters and to crop. Okay, here there are a lot of options and some of them are actually the same. So I have no idea what they they still use different names for the same option, but probably there is a, probably they know what they are doing. So I'll show you how it works by default. I'm going to use the same video as before, which is this one. This as you can see here, let me pause. As you can see here, there is a black bar on every corner that I want to to put that put, to put it out. In my opinion, most of these borders are on all the VHS videos, stuff like that. Maybe someone digitalized some VHS, but they they left this border. Okay, maybe some old movies and stuff like that. This is a video that they found on YouTube. I have no idea who those guys are. Anyway. There is actually a problem when I will auto detect the crop here because you can see here there is still some black with some video part here so it won't it won't be a super precise cut because you can see here it's not real defined here it's not like video and then the black part. There's still some something in between here, some video with some black part. So the crop won't be auto detected uh, very precisely. You can actually modify the way how it uh, uh, the way it detects the crop, but I'm not gonna show you and probably you not need it because you can do everything manually if you have problems. Okay, so. I'll show you how it works manually. First, I'm going to use the default uh, uh, values, let's say. I'm not gonna put any of these options, variables. So by default, you give, uh, you give some numbers. For example, I'm going to, to give it 200 pixel and also 200, two times 200 pixels. So that means that from the center, it will cut the height for 200 pixels and the weight for 200 pixels. So we will be around this part, okay, from the center. So let me select uh, VF, dash VF for video filters, then crop equal 200 and 200. And as you can see, it just cut 200 pixels weight and height. I can maybe do something uh, different. So the high it's 400 pixels, the weight it, uh, it is 200. I can do even more if I want, 600. And you can do also the opposite. That's the same if you put here width and height. Hey, just the same and also if you, if you put out underscore I think it's called the symbol just the same the only difference if you want to achieve something else you have to actually use EW here so this input which is the same as this one and then you, you don't need to put an equal but you need to put a dash and the same here, EH, not the equal, but the dash. 
And what it does... Okay, let me put 200 here. What it does actually, it doesn't start from the center, but it starts from the, from the borders. So I'll show you the video, how it is, the original video. As you can see here, basically it uh, takes 100 pixels here. It's 200 for the 8 in total. So it's 100 here and 100 here, and the same for the width. So 100 here and 100 from the right side. Okay, and still it has the center as a, yeah, as a center, let's say. Okay, let me return on this here. And so here, actually I'm going to also use the X and the Y, the Y here, uh, variables, what it does. It doesn't start from the center, but it will start from here. This is 0, x, and 0, y. This is, for example, would be like uh, 600, x, and 0, y. And this would be something like 400, y, for, uh, 0, x, and 400, y. And then from this point, it will cut the actually the 200 and 200. Okay. So right now we'll do something like 100 x and 100 y and it will be around here i guess let me try maybe i'll put 200 and 200 so maybe i can crop the the head of the guy that sounds strange actually crop the meter and if i go 20 for example and 20 If I go 0 and 0, I'm just at the beginning of the video. So the left upper corner. So you can play a little bit also with these two values. Alright, so right now I want to actually auto-detect. So I will be I will have these four uh, variables, these four numbers auto-detected. By default and then I will try to modify it a little bit manually if it's not enough so what I want to do I want to type crop detect and I want to press enter as you can see here it's detecting the crop it's not super precise here because as you can see as I told you it's not quit that's enough and I can copy those and I will try how it is how it looks and this is an auto detected crop as you can see there's still some borders it's not also it's not straight but anyway it works now, in this case, I'm going to uh, cancel the X and Y variables. I'm going just to use the 8 and the width. And now, if it's not enough for you, you can start modifying it a little bit manually. For example, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take 20 pixels from here. So as you can see here, the bar, the black bar, it's almost gone. I still have something here. So I'm probably I'm going to take also 20 pixels from here, so 10 and 10. Let me try. Oops, that's too much. So 60. As you can see right now, it's way more popped. I feel like it you know, this way. You can even go maybe for other... 10 pixel in here, and also here, let me try. So 58 and 38. Yeah, I think it's quite okay here, I still need something here. Yeah, now it's 
physically cropped. Anyway, if your video has, uh, let's say, uh, more straight differences between the video and the black bar, you can crop it in a better way. You actually don't need to to modify it, uh, the crop manually. Actually, if the video is super long, like it's a movie, it's one hour, two hour long, and you want to auto detect in a faster way, you can actually. I show you first on FF Play, as you can see here, it goes for it's the velocity it's one second. Okay. So actually, it plays the video and it crop, it attack the crop button. You can also do it faster by using FF and PG. Then select the input. Then dash F null and a dash here and so it will crop all the video way faster that's it so this is like three minutes video long I guess yeah two minutes it just crop in a few seconds you may want to use this if, if, if the video is longer and then you can just check it out you can also um, save this output if you want to to check all in the details you can just check if everything corresponds, if it's almost the same. Yeah, it is. As you can see, the crop is always the same. Maybe it changes just a little bit at the beginning. I can't scroll up more. Anyway, I use just this one most of the time, but you can also play a little bit with the X and Y variables. But that's how it works. So crop detect, you can use FFMPG if you want it to be faster or FF play. Okay, and then just put the crop in here. If you want to start from the center, use this one. If you want to start from the borders, use EW dash and EH dash. All right, that's it. Hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.